Yay! Hello. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, get look, look who's back. <laughs> hey, fucking best of British home. Like fucking amount of people. The amount of people, even people there, yeah. started me about it. It was very, very funny. Did yeah. the organisers ever say anything? No, about it? no, but I, I don't think they got what was going on. Right. Because I had to explain it to Luke Benson too, a little bit into it, because uh, he was just he was giving thumbs up, and I go, "This is Nelson." This is all Nelson. He was all thinking what was going on. I seen Mary Tobin like a couple of them, like three best British lads you could ask for. And, oh, like, she yes. was liking it, and I was like, oh, no. Amazing. I couldn't tell. It. What was this thing about Like the person that ran your show lives next door to you? Oh, God, it was so funny. One of the showrunners. Uh, she, uh, in the last day, of course, typical, nobody asking anybody to yeah. anything. It's like, oh, Edinburgh. Oh, yeah. And what about Edinburgh? You stay? And I was like, Roseburn. And she was like, I'm from Roseburn. <laughs> and then I was like, well, I live beside, like, there's only so many little places. I live beside Roseburn Place, just beside the barn. She goes, it's the road I live on. So the showrunner basically lives two doors down. Shit. Um, yeah, didn't know that until the very last day. And I was like, anyway, see you around, don't <laughs> <laughs> Why was she in it? Why was she in Australia then? And nearly everybody that, uh, that worked uh, front of house. On that started, street. <laughs> 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 they, were all, they were all shipped out. Like, everybody that was working in all the shows were all, like, in the other venue we had, what, the person's from Dundee and two really? people that live in Edinburgh. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. It was a lot, of, a lot of Scots out doing yeah. all the... Big Scottish population. And yeah, yeah. And I think yeah. loads of them come over because they've had so much experience with the Fringe. They're like, well, let's do Adelaide's as well. Aye. Is Adelaide, like, in terms of the size of it compared to the Fringe, that would be the Adelaide Festival? I no, think I it's just a smaller... It's just a smaller fringe. Like, it's very different. It's way more chilled and laid Is back. it? Aye. Way more chilled. Do people still lose their fucking minds about reviews and shit like that? Or awards? <sighs> there was awards, but I don't think it's like... I didn't really hear of anybody like talking about Aye. you need the award. Like They do award every week. <laughs> They were doing weekly awards. Just That's got class. Like, ah, best show this week is this. That's you know, amazing. That's just, a brilliant way to do that it. That is, because like, then nobody really sings and you know you just stick it on the posters. and everybody. I'd love if they did that now, but yeah, yeah, people yeah. would lose their minds. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Show of the week. Yeah. Um, and stuff Fuck. like that. Um, how was your flight? Because you, were you on a plane for... I didn't know... I, I was trying to explain over. to the kids. You had a stopover. I had, I, was, a, I had a stopover for three hours in Doha. I was telling the kids you were on a plane for a full 24 hours. <laughs> Yeah, no, I, it was 14 and a half hours, then two hours, and then nine, eight or something like that. Aye. Or eight, yeah, I think Aye. it was eight. Yeah, so the whole thing was... Where so it, technically 22 hours on it, about 21, 22 hours on the... Were they good? I love them. I love long... I, I fucking them. just, like... Can't get enough of them. I, I know, yeah, yeah. Nah, I, I was just... I was going to tell you the films. I went and, like, watched... I watched four films on one leg, uh -huh. and, like... Um, I was just, I wanted to watch something good, but the, the choice wasn't that good on the way back. So I watched Inception off the bat because I hadn't seen it in a long time. It was like one of the big ones there. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, I'm going to watch dog shit now mm -hmm. for the rest of it. So after that, I got, uh, <laughs> I watched Journey to Mysterious Island. Yeah, I've seen that. The seen Rock. It? The Rock and yeah. fucking Josh Hutchinson and yeah. Selena Gomez. and that. fucking Jack Whitehall not in that as well. No, that's no, the, the jungle one? one. That's a jungle. That's Jungle Cruise. Yeah. So yeah. Jungle Cruise, this and Jumanji are all just the same film. Yeah. yeah. Basically the same yeah. shit, right? So uh, that was dreadful, but enjoyable. And then I watched a movie called Freelance. I don't know. I, I, I watched Freelance because I was like, John Cena stars in it. No. And then oh, Alison yeah. Brie. I love Alison Brie. I don't uh, know who she is. Just sexy, funny girl. Alison Brie. Yeah, yeah. Like the cheese. No. So Alison Brie and John Cena uh, in like some sort of like CIA, CIA operative caught out in a make-believe South African country. There's a military nice. coup and he's trying to protect her and she's oh, a I, journalist. Great crack. That sounds good. It was nonsense, but yeah. good crack. Yeah. And then the last one, which was great, was called Lights Out. And apparently it's not out at the moment. And it's Scott Aitkins and Frank Grillo. Oh, yes. <laughs> Talk about a dick flick. Yes. Loved it. Yes. It, it, it did Romeo Must Die stuff. Do you remember oh, Romeo yeah, Must yeah, Die? Yeah, yeah, where yeah. he punches it and the next thing you see like an x-ray and the jaw cracking oh, and nice. shit like That's that. That's fucking class. I was, in, I was like, great stuff. I had to, I had to turn. Uh, it's the first time I've, I've turned off in a long time. Uh, it was a Gerard Butler film. I think it's called Last Scene Alive. And it was something, I think it was made by Sky 
for Sky. Oh, God. And I watched it because uh, my dad's got Sky, and so he pays for, like, multi yeah, yeah, yeah. devices and shit, so I, I watched films on it. Yeah. And uh, uh, Gerard Butler and, her, and his wife... <laughs> She goes. She goes in. He he he's putting petrol in the car, and she goes in to buy some water, and then she just fucking disappears. And then, sounds good. So it sounds it sounds intriguing, but good god, it's like, oh, shy dog. dog shit. Like just oh my god. It's like there's a lot of those straight to thing movies you don't even know exist until you go on a plane. Aye. Or like like you know if you watch like Bruce Willis's last ten years. Yeah. It's yeah. just you just never heard of these yeah. films. Fuck yeah, like. And I watched another one, right, called um, Hypnotic, right? So it's got Affleck and um, Bill Fichtner in it. Oh, yeah. Right? So I'm like, Affleck, still a big star, Affleck. Yeah. Right? So I was like, how have I never heard? But because they don't have straight-to-video shit anymore, they just have this stuff. And then so I was like, I don't know if this will be any good. I've never heard of it. Fucking Robert Rodriguez was the director. So I was like, this must be decent. Got a fucking awful, yeah, awful yeah. Film. It, like it's about people who have a hypnotic. They're not just hypnotists. They 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 can't. They they aren't able to just convince people of something. They are convinced. They are able to completely alter the world. Yeah, by their hypnotic power. Fucking hell! And it was utter. I can't explain how shite it was. Fuck's sake! Like oh my god! I turned off one. Oh, I tried to watch. Gunfight at Rio Bravo, <laughs> and I was like, "This sounds like a good western." And then the first scene was just like guys rushing, doing a bad Russian accent. That's the literally. Russian cowboy. That's literally just mixing most western. Ah, type. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gunfight at Rio Rio Bravo for a few dollars more. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck's sake! A fistful of bone tomahawk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah but, uh, like I, I just watched it you know it's one of those things where you know he's driving a cart and then two guys come up to rob him in the first scene and they're like why don't you get off your cart foreigner and i was like fuck off foreigner i was like what the fuck's this he didn't even say anything first of all he is russian but he never said he's anything, russian so, yeah a russian cowboy in the wild west yeah yeah i don't know i didn't watch enough for it to be explained i just thought it was gash yeah. um i was like let's pull out now before you get into this we uh we uh, we did a thing just before so since we've got back in the studio we were obviously so excited because we didn't have to do it online and we didn't have the the syncing problems and stuff so we're like fucking yes back in danny's studio excellent when we got here uh there was no cameras because quite rightly Kai has taken all these good cameras to, <laughs> to India. He's like, back, back on normal power. And, we thought we were back on a level. Uh, so we found a camera, but then we couldn't find a <laughs> tripod. So then, oh, and also I forgot the new stands I've bought for the backdrop. So this is sellotaped up again, but with actual sellotape this time. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then we couldn't find a tripod for the camera. So Colin had the idea where we pushed two t- chairs together. <laughs> And balance it on top of that and then sellotape the camera to the chairs. But the fabric of the chairs wouldn't hold the sellotape. So now it is perched atop a bin. <laughs> the bin upside down. I'm taking a picture of it for them. There is there it it is literally a fucking look how shite that looks. <laughs> That's behind the curtain that nobody wants to see. And they uh, and then after that, um we found a set of ca- uh, well, the, the, the keys to get into the studio. Colin showed me them, and it's got like that fucking geeky wee dice Dungeons and Dragons shit. Yes, that Dungeons and Dragons. They dice. all play, so that annoyed me anyway. So, and I was kind of rif- like, rifling about these shelves up here, and I found this wee canister, <clears throat> and it said smelling salts on it, right? and it said extremely powerful ammonia. So I was like, "What the fuck is this?" So then I opened it and took a sniff of it. And Jesus Christ, I, I, because you did it as well. I honestly felt like I'd been stabbed immediately in the brain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it is. Yeah, I didn't know. They're, they must have been trying it, you know, because they've been trying like chilies and stuff. So they must have been trying to smell and stuff. insane. It felt like an entire swimming pool. I felt like it was like yeah. the smell of chlorine kind of a little yeah. bit. It just went right up like a jag for your. Is, is it just for waking people up? I don't know. It makes it sound like he's get, R. Kelly get and it, people. Get it down all day again. <laughs> I tried to do that because it only goes up one nostril. See if it'll do the other nostril this time. As a seasoned 
Popper's aficionado. This should be fine for me. It's called Cerberus. <laughs> Cerberus. <laughs> the three-headed dog. <laughs> right. Okay. Fuck. You're going to try and like... Right. Fuck it, I can smell it from here. <laughs> oh no, I'm not doing it. I didn't do it, I didn't do it properly there. <laughs> That'll wake you up. Fucking hell, you know, it's exactly like that. Must be what's in hair dye. Because, like, whenever, I, whenever I've done my hair myself, I've been mixing up like the stuff. There's an ammonia in that, bleach, yeah. Aye, and you, I get like a, and then that's like, but it's nothing like that. Yeah. It kind of oh. like kills, it feels like it kills the bridge of your nose that as well. That one wasn't as bad. Yeah. Because this, I've got a cold, so this nose is more blocked <laughs> up than that one, but. That one Mine's went up one clean. nostril too, and I was like, I don't think I had a. Anyway. I can still feel it here, Ooh. and I haven't even done it properly. Who, daddy? Who, who, had I? Uh... Any other chat before? Nah. I was in. I was. Uh, I'll tell you. I was in London. Uh, well, I was in. I was in Newcastle on Thursday night, which was fucking class. Like if you're at the Newcastle show, it was a proper, proper, proper best show solo show I've ever done. Actually, great. Just everyone was proper up for it. And then I went out with Al Stevenson. Yeah, uh, I know Al's great. Yeah. So he was opening for me, and he was fucking excellent. Uh, so we went out after that, and then uh, London. On the Friday, uh, so Gareth was on as well. He was doing the comedy store on the Thursday night. So we met up and uh, then we, we did the gig and then we stayed in the bar and Gareth was getting served the worst pints of Guinness I have, like, comically bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know, like, not even, like, they don't know how to serve Guinness. It's it's almost like they're purposefully trying to piss you off. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. It was, yeah. oh, God. And then um, <clears throat> Tom was supposed to be coming along, Tom Houghton. And uh, he kind of messaged me saying that he wasn't feeling that great, and I was like, "Listen, don't don't fucking stress yourself. There's no point in getting here if you're gonna feel like shit." But then his pal Naz, Osmanalu, Osma, Osmanalu, Osmanalu, yeah, 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 I think so. Uh, he Osman Ugly, uh, Osman Ugly, yeah. He came along, and fu- I'd not seen him in. I'd not seen him since Kai Stag, do. Yeah, yeah. That man is a force of nature. <laughs> Jesus, he's, he's he's like you've he's like you've drawn an old English character from like yeah, a, yeah, a, like not a Carry On film, but like a bloody lovely to see you, chaps again. Fucking. <laughs> 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 and he's uh, yeah, he's what is it? He would have been heir to the Ottoman Empire yeah. if it hadn't fallen a yeah. hundred years ago. Ah uh, yeah, I was asking him about now how he's doing improv. I was, <laughs> <laughs> I was asking him how rich he actually was, and he's one of those people that's not. Tom's kind of like this. They're not cash rich. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like assets. statist. Aye, aye. Yeah, it's yeah. all sitting somewhere. Yeah, yeah. But fuck me. And then we went back to Tom's. It's all robbed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then we went back to we went back to Horton's, and uh, Horton typically as Horton is a girl. He'd been messaging on uh, the apps. Just came round his house at three in the morning. So as you do, like yeah, it's fucking like that. Me and Gareth were just sitting there going, and then at one point, right, they were flirting with each other and obviously trying to chat each other up. And Tom starts asking her if she knows what the Wombles are, right? And we both looked at each other and went, "The fuck is he talking about?" Why would? And she was like, no. And like, why would she? What? Yeah, yeah. Why the fuck would she? And then he explained that because she was Bulgarian and one of the Wombles is called Uncle Bulgaria. And I was like, right, I kind of see your, 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 I can, I can. It's real still fucking stretch. It is. But then me and Gareth were just like so annoyed going, the fucking shit you can come out with, but still know <laughs> that you're going to end up with this girl is fucking infuriating. Womble chat. Infuriating. Like absolutely fucking infuriating. Womble chat. That's great. Like if you were that charming and like decent looking and rich you would you push the boundaries Good tom <laughs> but, uh, well but you would you would you would, if you if you knew you were ba- your status basically guaranteed that you were gonna get laid you would see what kind of nonsense shit you would like I'd, ex- it's ex- like me back home with the ira yeah <laughs> i'm gonna work my free seven times <laughs> I would done dark. If I was that kind of status and I went out on a date with someone, I would exclusively talk about how 
the ultimate warrior tarnished his own legacy. <laughs> <laughs> it could have been one of the greats. It could have been top 10, but no, he couldn't stay off the juice. <laughs> the man was a lunatic at the end. Couldn't stay off the fucking juice. <laughs> I watched that Iron Claw film in Australia. That was class. Oh, aye, I can't wait to see that. I'm going to go see that next week because I've got time. That's good. Aye. Aye. That's a horrendous story. Very funny. The, the, movie, the, movie, the movie leaves out one of the brothers. Was it? I was like, when I Googled after it, I was like, "There's which one was Chris? And they were just like, we left Chris. The director was like, we literally left him out. The, the film's too ridiculous as it is. We couldn't Jesus. even pack, we couldn't pack in the grief. Yeah. Uh, and then add another one. Yeah. They were just like, too much. Because I didn't know a huge amount about them until later on. Like, when I was a wee boy, I only knew the Texas Tornado because he was... Okay. Was Kerry Von Eric. Oh, I remember the Texas Tornado. Yeah, was Texas was Tornado, a, Why yeah. the fuck? I must have missed that in the film. I, remember I don't know. I don't, he, he, he possibly didn't become the Tornado in the film because yeah, it's yeah. very much about his bigger brothers. Aye, aye, okay. But man. he ended up fucking killing himself as well. <laughs> yeah, no, there was a whole... I think he shot himself in a shower or something. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I know what he does. Right, okay. He, shot, he does shoot right. himself, yeah. Right, but, okay. Yeah. Um, Right, uh, since we're back, I uh, thank you very much as well for. We find it very funny that uh, American History X is now our most popular ever episode. <laughs> what were you looking for, really? <laughs> I feel like I, there's at least five hundred people in there trying to catch us slipping. I had to. So that's so funny. Normally, the the week of films when I know the film's got like. Because sometimes people make soundtracks for films on Spotify. Yeah. That aren't. Sometimes the soundtracks to films are fucking class. Oh God, yeah. And then I knew that people would have made a, a American History X soundtracks. And I knew they, a lot of them would be like country, southern rock, which I like. So I'd been searching on Spotify, American History X, American History X. And then when, when I pick the kids up from school, they just get my phone and they search for like Taylor Swift and shit like that. So I get home and my daughter goes. Why you keep searching for something called American History X, right? And I didn't want to tell her, really kick-ass racist film about neo-Nazis, right? I'll show it to you sometime. I just had to pretend it was a podcast I was looking oh, for about American history. Oh, the, Jesus Christ. Did you think, imagine if you came back and your daughter's sitting there like mad into screwdriver. It's your fault. <laughs> the white man marches on. No, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> back to Tete. Why does she do a version? Imagine. Uh, but yeah, cheers for that. Um, so, after a serious topic this week, uh, I thought I would bring us back to not reality, but uh, <laughs> some more some more fun-filled madcap <laughs> film. Fucking mad film. So we are doing uh, the the original Batman, the, the the only Batman, the 1989 Tim Burton's Batman. Yeah. Now... I was nervous getting into this because I love this film. I okay. fucking love it. Largely because of the time I saw it. Yes. I got it. So this came out in 89, so I was eight years old. And it was... So you won't remember this. I don't hugely remember this, but it was massive. Like, it was It's pretty much the first event film. Like, okay, marketing, right. yeah, like yeah. McDonald's toys. Like, a huge build-up. Like they, they showed, like, a, a teaser trailer... Like the Christmas before it was released, okay. and that was the first time a teaser trailer had been yeah. done, and people were like fucking queues around the block, all this shit. And I didn't see it at the cinema because um, it was a, I think it was a twelve or like I think the equivalent of a twelve or something like that. I don't think twelve was actually even a thing, and maybe a fifteen. But I got it bought on video for my Christmas. I always used to get bought. Um, my uncle used to buy me like three VHSs every single year. Great. At Christmas, right? And that year, that year was a fucking vintage year, right? Check this out for a bizarre combination. <laughs> the mask. <laughs> no. No. Batman. Um, no, was it, was it cl Clear and Present Danger? <laughs> clear and right? Present Danger. The, such an the Harrison Ford IRA <laughs> yeah, film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that is that. No, I don't no, know. No, that's, that's not. Clear and Present Danger is the one... What's I already on? Not Devil's One? No, not Devil's One. Oh, fuck, we need to find that out. Oh, God. Uh, the uh, Jackal. No, shit, 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 That's shit, shit. the Jackal. Shit. Uh, I know the film. Yeah. Uh, Sean Bean's in it. He's in everything, though. Jack he's, Ryan. He's, he's, he's the white guy, films. Samuel L. Jackson. This is Sean <laughs> Bean. Uh, <laughs> turns up around everything. Right, films. Patriot Games. Patriot of course. Games. Patriot Games. The first time that uh, Harrison Ford played Jack Ryan after... 
uh, Alec Baldwin had been him in Red October. So I got Batman, Patriot Games, and the Eddie Murphy sex comedy Boomerang. <laughs> I remember bo- <laughs> Fox sick <sake>. Boomerang. <laughs> What a, what a year. What a year. Uh, Blue streak. So I, I, oh, that was a great film with Jim Lee Curtis in it. Yeah. Um, I, uh, so I love this film, but it has been discussed quite a lot in our friendship group because Sloss is a massive Batman fan. And I argue that I've never said that this is the best Batman film. Yes. That's a dark night. I've never said it's the best Joker. That's obviously Heath Ledger. Yeah. But I contend to this day that Michael Keaton is still the best Batman. Right. I have... So what you, you thought I was going to hate this film. Yes. I don't hate it. <laughs> there's there's a couple of things I will say, right? Yeah. It, like, Michael Keaton mm-hmm. is definitely the best Bruce Wayne. See, I disagree. I think he's the best Bruce Wayne I've seen. I did like him. I right. think he was great in it. Actually, he was a good Batman too. Yeah. I mean, I, I kind of like some of the other Batmans, but that's only because of like advancing movies yeah, and shit yeah, rather yeah, than yeah, anything yeah. that they did. I have, I, I think the Joker was shit. Really? I thought he was shit from the start. Oh. I fucking hated him. I thought the film was pretty... Cl- there was so much of it, because I fucking, like... First of all, it was... <laughs> when the film starts, it was like... I forgot it was directed by Tim Burton. Yeah. And I went, great. This is, I'm going to fucking hate this. <laughs> right? And then it was like... In a massively left field choice, all music performed by Prince. Did you not know Prince? I was, oh, I was sitting there going, yes. What? I was just—it's like watching the boy in the striped pajamas, like all music done by Kelly Minogue. Yeah. <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> Are you sure? Has that gone off? No, for fuck's sake. Has that gone off? Why did might, that happen? I don't know. Oh, it, well. it might. We'll just continue on. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Well, it's back on, but we may literally have no video for this one. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, Grant. Uh, no, uh, I didn't know Prince was in it. Yeah, that was quite bad. I thought Gotham looked amazing in it. Yeah. Because it was like a comic book. Yeah. But, but also kind of real. I loved. I love the way it looks. You don't really know when it's set. Yes. Because it does yeah, look yeah. like kind of. 1920s Dick Tracy yeah. hard-boiled comic book kind of stuff, but it could also be modern and just grim. And yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, I, I, I thought it was. <sighs> I don't even know where the fuck it started. It is, there, it is a lot to deal with. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a jam-packed. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I like that. I love the Batmobile. Yeah, best, best, ba- best, best Batmobile. Best Batmobile. Yeah, definitely. Uh, there's some cracking lines the Joker has. I'll I think, I think it's the best bat suit as well. I think it's. I don't. Th- yeah, I like the yellow. Yeah, I, like I feel the like because that's w- when you were a kid, it was always the yellow yeah. symbol. Yeah, yeah, and I like because because even at the very end, they had the the bat signal too, yeah. and I was like, yes, good bat. Yeah. So I I definitely think that aesthetically, it, I liked it mm-hmm. because it was like I think it was the the newest Batman tried to copy it but make it more thing as in darker. Yeah, the other one like because the Dark Knight was just New York. Yeah, but this one uh, was like. Like, when I look at Gotham, I was like, I'd love to go to a Gotham comedy club. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fucking Bet class. you're unbelievable. Yeah. yeah. I think I think it's... Um, I think it's unfairly judged because we've seen Nolan's Batman. Yeah, it's different. I tried to, so, I tried to completely forget yeah. about that. The Joker as well. I just presumed and, was a different Joker. And what people, what people like Danny don't realise is, like, up until this point, Batman was literally the 1960s TV series. Adam West. Which... I enjoy a lot, but it's campy as fuck. Yeah. And there is campiness to this, but it is fucking... I mean, there's some dark shit in this. Yeah. Batman, first of all, right, I right. I, I, think I, he's, I, I, yeah. I think he's the best Batman. I think he's probably the most accurate Bruce Wayne because he is fucking weird. Yeah. And he's a lunatic. I mean, he's a genuine lunatic that has no social skills. Yeah. I still think Affleck's Bruce Wayne is the best. Jesus Christ, that's I think a fucking... Affleck's Batman's terrible, but I think his Bruce Wayne is good. Right. Because then... I, I, like, honestly, I, 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 I left field. I think Robert Patterson's Batman is the best, but he's the worst Bruce Wayne. Possibly. I possibly. Oh, he's definitely the worst Bruce he's Wayne. Shag- oh, God, like, he's an awful Bruce dra- Wayne. Dreadful, but in this series, fucking brilliant. Oh, the wee emo Bruce Wayne is awful. But yeah. I, no, you might be right, actually. He is good. I do have a think. What I've seen was in the suit, I thought he was the best Batman. He but outside, hard. he's dreadful. Um, But. Like, so this was, 
Like folk, folk go men, folk went mental when because I never really get into this comic book geeky shit. I know what it is already. What? No kill rule. Yeah, love is no kill. I love that he ditched it and just started. He, he kills horse. hundreds of people in this. <laughs> Loved like, it. He literally launches guys off fucking. Buildings. I love when he's fucked a couple he, of lads off a building. I was like, wait a minute, this isn't. He just opened fires in a fucking <laughs> crowd. Like he t- couldn't care less about killing anyone. Like, like a millionaire would. <laughs> yeah, but I mean that's what I like about it. he's a proper because, like. Folk going, like, because folk lost the shit when Keaton was given this. But this was pre-internet before yeah, yeah. anyone could put it up on Twitter or have a whiny video about it on TikTok. <laughs> so people people were, like, actually writing letters yeah, to yeah. Warner Brothers going, this is a fucking disgrace. <laughs> That's so because funny. Keaton had only really been in comedies up until this point. And, yeah, you know, like, yeah. um, so I've got... Um, I've got but I, th- I think he, he works as Bruce Wayne because he is... He's a fucking psychopath. Yeah, yeah. Well. There, there's parts in it. Yeah, I, 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 I did. This is why I liked him because it was. I did think like that was to me what Bruce Wayne was like, even in the kind of like cartoons. Yeah. Even though I watched it, I was told that you were told me it was actually after the cartoons or after this. No, but, the cartoons were the cartoons were because of this film. Yeah. So like yeah. that made sense to me. I did watch them and yeah. think I'm pretty sure I have seen this when I was a kid, but yeah. I don't actually remember any of it when I watched it. Does it bet? It's one of my favourite bits in the whole film when the Joker turns up to Kim Basinger's house and uh, Keaton's already there as Bruce Wayne because they're pumping. And then uh, he doesn't back down from the Joker at all. And then he tells him a story and then he just grabs the fucking fire, the poking fire thing. Oh, aye, and he aye. Just goes, hey, you want to get nuts? Come on, <laughs> let's get nuts. And I was like, yes. And I was like, that's fucking... The guy's a psychopath. <laughs> so I got other other people that were... Because everybody considered for Batman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Everybody, basically, the action... Like, Mel Gibson. Yeah. What? These are people that were considered for Batman oh, before... I've, I was sitting there going, Mel Michael Gibson? Keaton, right? Yeah, Mel Jesus, Gibson wouldn't work. Kevin Costner? No. No. Uh, no. 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 Charlie I, Sheen? I can see why they thought Kevin Costner. Charlie Sheen. <laughs> that guy. No, he runs on Tiger uh, Blood. Tom Di- Selleck? Dying of AIDS on the top of a fucking... No, no. <laughs> Charlie Sheen dying of AIDS. Right? He's only he's actively taking the Joker's chemicals. <laughs> he fucking axes chemicals up, just snorting vats. <laughs> Charlie Sheen in the fucking thing, right? Yeah. Uh, Tom Selleck. <laughs> I would like to have seen it, but Selleck. you would know who he is because I mean, of the mustache coming out. Is that Tom Selleck? Is <laughs> that <a> Magnum? <laughs> what are you? A magnum. <laughs> so yeah, but Selick was Selick was offered. Selick was nearly Indiana Jones as well. Ooh, it's a fucking like... huge star, Tom Selick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Harrison Ford. Nah, he's already done too much. Ah, you know couldn't have, you, kinda, you yeah. can't be Han Solo and Batman and Indiana Jones and Indiana. Oh, fuck, of course. Aye, aye. What, are you, what are you up to? Like, aye, pick a lane, mate. It was almost Pierce Brosnan. <laughs> he was the first pick. <laughs> Man, I would have loved that. But also that... Because he he does have a bit of a Bruce Wayne-y... Oh, absolutely. ...already. Yeah. But yeah. like, I don't know if he's not... He's dark enough. I don't know. I, it's not that he's dark enough, because, I mean, they, no, he wasn't... He was he's, You know, he just... he His actions were dark rather than what he was saying. Yeah. Like, so, I don't know. He, that might have been good. Because he was cat. He was, like, the first choice. And then he said no because he didn't... He said no because he didn't want to get caught up in a franchise... Then became Bond. <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking... But I, I think he was... You know the story about Pierce Brosnan with Bond? No. So Pierce Brosnan was always... I mean, I think... I've always said that he's not my favourite Bond. I love Pierce Brosnan as Bond. I think if you had to draw James Bond, you would draw Pierce Brosnan. Yeah. I think he's the guy that most looks like James Bond. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? I would agree with that, yeah. He was always going to be Bond after Roger Moore. Okay, right? right. He was always going to be it. It was like fucking cast iron. But he was in a TV show called Remington Steel. Yeah. He was like a detective kind of it was shit. like Taffin. Yeah. <laughs> he, uh, he, um, they wouldn't release him from the contract. They just wouldn't. They just fucking point black. And he was like, James Bond. And they were like, no, we're not releasing you. And so he was like properly gutted, like suicidal gutted. And then uh, then he got back. He got brought back for... Uh, Goldeneye after Dalton. Fucking hell. But I mean, so I think he must have been sitting there going, if you don't, I'll be Bond next. Yes, yeah. yeah. So I don't want to be Batman as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking hell. The one, right? 
one, one more before they, they settled in Keaton. Okay. And this would have been fucking wild. Is it going to be? Let me guess. Right. Philip Seymour Hoffman. No, it's his, it's his mental. Okay. Bill Murray. <laughs> right. When well, they first had the idea uh, okay, of doing right. Batman, right? I can kind of see it. It was going to be Bill Murray as Batman. Ivan Reitman from Ghostbusters was going to direct it. Okay. Eddie Murphy was going to be Robin. <laughs> okay. Right. And Willem Dafoe so was going got, to be the Joker. Got, so they got the black guy and called him Robin. <laughs> <laughs> Christ, it would have been fucking mental. That would have been insane. That would have loved to have seen that. I hate when you hear some things like that. Yeah. You're always like, was it the first um, The Matrix, wasn't it? That was Will Smith. Yeah, it was supposed to be Will Smith. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) That would be so much. It's such a different film. (laughs) It's It's a completely different film. um, The only other people. So they always wanted Nicholson for the Joker. Okay. Willem Dafoe was going to be. Way better already. It would have been so much um, better. It was. So Nicholson said no to it, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, they offered it to Robin Williams. Okay. Which would have been good. And it was pretty much set to start. And the story goes that they only offered it to Robin Williams so they could lure Nicholson in. So they basically said, hey, we've got something. And Nicholson went, ah, do you know what? I'll do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they had to fuck off Robin Williams. And... Rob Williams was like gutted, and I think I think that's why I think Rob Williams was then offered the Riddler before J- Jim Carrey, okay. and he said, "Nah, fuck you." Um, but Nickel, <laughs> fucking, this is right. So I get why people don't like Nicholson's Joker. Yeah, right. It is very over the top. Yeah, that was stupid. I fun. like it the fact that he just doesn't. He just goes all in in every single scene. Yeah, yeah, he should be. Yeah, and he yeah. just play, what I love about Jack Nicholson by this stage is Jack Nicholson is just playing Jack Nicholson. Yeah. Do you know what I thought a better Joker was? Old Costigan from The Departed. Yes. If that character became the Joker, I would have been like that. But do you not see, like, there, there are there are parallels the, between the two of them? Yeah, I, I, I do. I, do you know what it was? Like, do you know what bit, most of see it... The like? bit in the, see the bit in The Departed where they're in the, the, uh, the porno cinema. Yes, and he yeah, pulls yeah, a dildo yeah, 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 yeah. Imagine yeah. him in Joker makeup. Yeah, in yeah, that, yeah, and it wouldn't be that. Well, far well my main fucking problem is I can't believe they they st- they were like, yes, that'll do for the Joker makeup. I thought it was the fucking shyest thing I ever seen in my life. Mm. I thought it was so shite. I understand what they're doing. It's just pretty basic, blah blah blah. Yeah, but I mean, I'm not, I'm not trying to even compare it to the thing, but I just went. It's... They don't. They don't. I mean, they they do give him. They don't give him his interest in a backstory. As they do in the Dark Knight. I don't, I don't mind that because with the Dark Knight, you, you've you've generally got no idea how he became this much of a psychopath. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. because his story changes constantly. So yeah, yeah, yeah. You're yeah. just like this guy's a fucking <laughs> just a mad like, man. I, but with this, he's already a psycho. I mean, he's already a cold blooded, yeah, yeah, gangster killer. Yeah, yeah. And then he becomes maniacal because he gets dropped in a vat of acid. Yes, yes. I, 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 as as you know. Which none of it, I mean, none of it's explainable scientifically. I don't know why he wouldn't just drown. I love that. That was the scene in the new, the new Spider Man when he was like, remember when uh, Jimmy Fox's character's chatting to the. Yeah. He's like, you got to watch where you fall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I fell into a super yeah. collider. I fell into it. Yeah. Got to watch where you fall. Yeah. It's great. Um, um, but I, I love. So the reason Nicholson got it was. He, got, he ended up getting paid something like ninety million dollars for this. Fucking hell! Because he's it's essentially his film. Yeah, he's yeah. in it way more than Batman is. Yeah, yeah. He's got the top billing on the poster as well. Is it, right, that yeah. was one of his demands. He had three demands, right? That was the first demand. They wanted to be top billing, and I, I kind of love when actors pull that dick swinging shit. Okay, right. Yeah. I like it. It's that the, 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 there's a story about the Tower in Inferno, where Steve McQueen and Paul Newman refused. To give each other because they hated each other, they refused to give each other top billing, so they're both top billing. But then there was a massive argument over whose name came first on the left because most people lead, read left to right. I fucking love that. That's See so that that level of pettiness and insecurity is that's just so oh. fucking funny. So I he demanded top billing, which they gave him easily. He demanded a certain fee for acting in it, but then a cut of all the merchandise. So he obviously went. I know, I know what's happening. Fucking go. Yeah. And the best one is, 
he would ref- he refused to work any day that the Knicks were playing. <laughs> absolutely refused. I love that. So he could watch them. He yeah. Absolutely, point blank refused. That's so funny. So, and that, if the Knicks are playing, I'm not working that day. Yeah, that's great. I'm a big, big fan of that. That is class. In fairness, I, I wasn't with him there to most of it. I mean, he's clearly a dodgy lad, Jack Nicholson. Oh, aye. You know, you've seen all the like the many court things about like Roman Polanski and all that. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Always yeah. Just, it was in Jack Nicholson's house. Yeah. It was hot oh. top, and I'm like, Jesus Christ. I mean, the man's lived a fucking life. Like, I mean, Jesus Christ, some of the shit that he'll have got up to. Yeah, is yeah, yeah. Insane. Yeah. The, like, I have stuff here um, about, there's a scene at the very start, you know, when they're walking through a dangerous street, you know, the, the ones get mugged mm. and they have the biggest map. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. the funniest thing. Yeah. Like a massive, like, four-foot map yeah. walking through the dangerous street going, like, I mean, it's just like, it's like bringing a rape whistle to yeah. prison. There's, You're just there, asking for there's, it there's, at that stage. There's so much about that mugging at the start. that oh. doesn't, Because the, the dad tries to get a taxi, then just <laughs> lets someone steal the taxi off him and his family. Then, rather than wait around where there are clearly taxis passing all the fucking time, <laughs> yeah, yeah, goes, let's just make a walk for it <laughs> down this alley. <laughs> they, so he tells, he tells the kid to put the map away. I know where I'm going. <laughs> what, down the alley? Is that where you were going? I, and while they're going down the alley... A hooker tries to pick up the kid. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> like, hey, baby, you looking for some action? <laughs> but to the kids, and you're like, what? The kid's about eight. Yeah, good stuff. Uh, imagine the kid was like, ah, you again. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you again. Not eh? tonight, Angel. And just slapped her in the arm. Yeah, yeah. It's been a couple of days since you've cranked my hog. Oh. <laughs> I yeah. love the fact that those two guys are clearly junkies at the start. Oh, aye, aye, aye. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was very much like, I hope these people get mugged uh, forever. Yeah. They may as well have started shit like, oh, Sherry, have you remembered your bum bag? You yeah. Know, just asking, to, like, what more do you want? I love that whole scene when the one guy's shitting himself. I enjoyed that too. Because the guy's going like, ah, oh, fucking, there's American Express and there's cash. And the guy's going, oh, why, why do we got to do it up here? And he's like, what, are you scared? And he's like, oh, you heard what happened to fucking Johnny Gobbs? And oh, he's like, what? that's right. Yeah, the, yeah. the bat got him. The bat! <laughs> Shut up, the bat! <laughs> and then you just see him fucking glide down. That was good, aye. And I love, I love the introduction where he's like... Just gliding in. Don't kill me, man. Don't kill me. I'm not going to kill you. Tell everyone. And tell what you tell your friends. What are you? I bet, man. It's <laughs> like, yes. Oh, Is that like, do you know what would be funny, though? You know, he jumps off the building, mm-hmm. like, where the thing, and the guy runs and looks down, and he's gone. But imagine if he was just splattered. Yeah. <laughs> just <laughs> splattered Batman in a bat suit, and he goes, oh, right, no, he wasn't. i tell you one thing that I don't like about... I like... I was trying to explain this to Sloss as well, the fact that the re- it was Keaton's idea to have a growlier voice for Batman. Okay, yeah. He, his never becomes ridiculous. Yeah, His yeah. is just a lower tone of voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas Christian Bale, I find farcical at some points. Swear to me! <laughs> like yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like, you don't need to go that fucking deep, man. <laughs> Where are they? <laughs> um, Where are they? So, I like that. The one thing, I, I think the bat suit looks cool. I think it is the most inefficient thing to fight when. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he does very little fight. There's a lot of kicking. Yeah, he, get, he gets proper battered a couple of times. Oh, I guess. I, so, so, I remember the one where he just fell into the bins. Yeah. And he got up and someone just shot him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> point like, blank, yeah. I was like, what the fuck's this? But he, he, all of his fighting is literally leg work. Oh, I, he front kicks a dude. Yeah. Like in the in the sternum. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah but he's, yeah. Got no, he's got no upper body movement at all. Yeah. He can't move his fucking neck. <laughs> That at no point can he move his neck. He's Robocop essentially. There's a bit where he's driving in the in the in the Batmobile and uh, Kim Basson just speaking to him. And he, he can't he has to have got like with that with his eyes. Oh I like, like, and I'm like, how the fuck did he pass his test? Uh, like, I, you can't, I, like, like how is he checking his mirrors ever? <laughs> like I don't imagine you check your mirrors in the Batmobile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But fucking hell, man. <laughs> you know she keeps looking as well, just trying to look at his face closely when she first meets him in the cave, and he keeps like looking away like yeah. nope. <laughs> nope. He's moving his whole body, trying to get a thing. Is it was it him or not? Was it the other journalist that went, "Hello, legs." Yeah, <laughs> I was like, oh, I must know her. And then he goes, what? anyway, introduced himself. Then. What sexism in this film? Oh, so funny. Hello, um, legs. A lot of horny people in this film. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of... yeah. The Joker. The Joker is horny as as they come. Fuck, horny as they come. Like he sees a picture of her, doesn't he? And he just goes, yeah. "Whoa, yeah. oh my, oh, how cheap, man." <laughs> That's what 
I think that's like. You know, they always got about like villains' motivations. Mm. And that's what Ledger's is so good at because there is no real motivation. Yeah, he just, uh, he just wants to cause absolute fucking chaos. Yeah, yeah. That's all he wants. Mm. I mean, he wants a laugh. <laughs> Whereas in this, he wants a laugh. Nicholson is literally motivated by getting his hole. <laughs> yeah. That's it. That's the only reason he does any of this. <laughs> it's the only reason he does it at the start because he shags fucking Jack Palance's bomb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how he ends up as the Joker. <laughs> then when he is the Joker, he decides to just take down an entire city just so he can pump Kim Bassinger, which is fair enough because fucking Jesus, Kim Bassinger. Good God. Kim Basinger. Kim Basinger, yeah. No, it is Basinger. I don't what, know. What show is that? Remember, I don't know how to say this. Kim Basinger? <laughs> Kim Basinger? What's that in? That's in a film. I can't think. I don't know how to say this. Kim... Oh, it's fucking... It's fucking Family Guy. It's oh, a fam- it's, a, it's a Family Guy scene, yeah. Anyway, yeah. I, I don't really know her by her, like, Ellie Confidential. She's incredible. I like, didn't, in I didn't really notice it was her, to be honest. How did Google who the fuck it was? Really? Yeah, and I was like, oh, yeah, that makes sense. you never sense. seen... Uh, what's the Mickey Rourke soft porn film? The Wrestler. <laughs> 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 you sure? It's a soft porn film. Show. Well, it's not soft porn, but I re- I, I, I'm fairly certain you see them pumping quite a bit. Mickey very, Rourke. Very young. <laughs> yeah. she, I think she was married to me. Married to Mickey Rourke. I think she was married That's to Bo- a... Baldwin as well. <laughs> Alec. Yeah. Big Alec. No Billy. Oh, Billy Baldwin. S- Stephen. <laughs> Stephen Baldwin. Honestly. <laughs> I think you're punching a wee bit there, Stephen. <laughs> I think you're punching a wee bit. There's this camera off again. Oh, for fuck's sake! It just went off. It just went off. So continue on. I was about to go, there's going to be like a couple of parts where... Can I find out what this Kim Basinger film was called? Where there's going to be like... What age do you think she is now? What age do I think Kim Basinger is? 60? 70. 70? Oh, well. Wow. She was also in a Bond film. What was she? But I didn't know that. No, I did not. Never seen ever again. Okay, I'll try. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Nine and a half weeks. That's of course you must know nine and a half weeks. I've never seen it. Oh, of course I'm forgetting what age you are. That was like a proper wankathon <laughs> for kids my age. Like, oh my good god, nine and a half weeks. <laughs> is oh. that was it the into the blue of the It, it was fucking <laughs> okay, nine and a half weeks I spent in my bedroom, I tell you that much. For fuck's sake. Uh, by the way, I have another couple of things, right? It's not Albert, is it? No, Alfred. Alfred. Albert. <laughs> Albert. <laughs> Mere Albert. I don't think it's Alfred. I don't you think so many I don't think there's ever an Albert's become a family butler. <laughs> this is my butler. Prince Albert. Please, <laughs> please get the door. Albert. <laughs> <laughs> it's a proper Alfred. But I because I hated Michael Caine's Alfred. Yeah. Because it was just full of fucking giving advice. And Aye. really, there's parts of it in The Dark Knight where I'm just like, do you know what, Mom? Do you see what I built here? Aye. I am a millionaire. I'm Aye. Batman. Yeah. And you're a butler. Yeah. You're also staying at home. Yeah. He You've keeps... got no fucking idea what I'm out there doing. He's so. also fucking treated like shit always. Mm. He's like, he's like, oh, you shouldn't be going out there fighting. You're going to get hurt. And he's like, how do you not get it in your head that mm. I am Batman by now? And also, this one as well, you know, they keep just going like, his family is my closest thing. And then you're just like, you still do the fucking laundry, though? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. he'll always be the fucking butler. I know he's got more, you know, he's taking care of the big parties. He's, he's more of an event planner. Yeah, nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's more, he's PR. He's PR, yeah. <laughs> That's a real old-looking Alfred there, you know. That nah, guy, that, who the fuck that guy? Like That that guy was a butler. Aye. Right. Oh, he's, he's served the Waynes for a good while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's a really weird bit, just while it's in my head. Hmm. See, after he... So he, him and, him and uh, Vicky Vale, Bruce Wayne and Vicky Vale shag the very first night they meet. Yeah. Oh, oh. by the way, this is my main problem with the film. They have her set up well. Mm-hmm. Strong, independent thing. Tells the guy... Do they have the weird thing with the other guy working in the place? The she photographer, yeah. Tells him to kind of like, you know, fucks off. But, and then spends one night with Bruce Wayne, and next thing she's a fucking damsel in distress the whole time. And I was like, all right, this was actually set up for a good character, and then it's they just met her a fucking bimbo. The you old, think it's all? The old De Niro. But a dush. The old Benjamins, that's all it is. But also, she pumps him the very first night, but mm. she's pissed, but he's not. Yes, that's right. She's wrecked. Yeah, yeah. She, she goes, I'm very drunk, and you seem absolutely fine. And he's like, ah, yeah. <laughs> 
Oh no! Just slipped the old back condom on. Oh god! It was a bad condom. (laughs) (laughs) Just wings. I don't know if that's a good idea. (laughs) Why is it yellow? Oh no! Yeah, yeah. Close in the dark. The (laughs) the uh, when when he wakes up when (laughs) when after after the the back the back (laughs) cock. He punches the button and then the little fall just slips out. Oh, Jesus. The bad oh. cock. <laughs> just sitting at dinner. <laughs> the signal goes up on the roof. <laughs> what does that mean? You know what that fucking <laughs> means. <laughs> 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 see, when he, see when he wakes up. <laughs> When he wakes up in the middle of the night and she wakes up and just finds him hanging from that thing oh like my a God. bat. You go, go in another room, man. Was so, it, is that, yeah, she goes, you, must, you might be. Imagine she was like, oh, you're Spider-Man. <laughs> I'm not Spider-Man. <laughs> Batman. I don't no, even, no. Spider, that's ridiculous. <laughs> Who the fuck Spider-Man? Uh, yeah, it's ridiculous. You hear what you're fucking saying, the Batman. <laughs> yeah, bats eat spiders. <laughs> Read a fucking book, Bassinger. Oh, God. Do you know, right? I've got. There's a part where she. Is it the first time they meet when the guy's like walking through Bruce Wayne's house and just going, like, this is shit? Yeah. This is ugly. He's got all, he's got all the military outfit. I like that. But and she just goes, like, when Bruce Wayne says to her, you've got, you've got, a, you've got a wonderful eye, and he jumps in and goes, some say she's got two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're yeah. Like, what the fuck was that? Yeah. I've never seen a guy more gooseberry in my life. Because <laughs> like, they're clearly in each other and he keeps winding in with these one-liners. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, yeah. Shut the fuck up, journalist. I've been that guy. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. You probably got two for one on that. Shut up. <laughs> Would you try and sh- shut up? <laughs> Do you know what Alfred as well is trying to like Alfred's trying to help him get laid, you know, and telling uh-huh. stories to her. Uh-huh. It it cuts in like yeah. mid story, so you don't know really know what the story is, and then he just basically goes, So yeah, that was the last time I brought Bruce horse riding. <laughs> Man was covered in shit, and everybody goes, ha, 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 ha. It's like fuck's sake. <laughs> you know I would love that scene. If it came in and someone horrific. One of Christopher Reeves' Superman. <laughs> That's the last time I took Clark Kent horse riding. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Not so super now, yeah, are you, yeah, Clark? Yeah. Kryptonite wasn't, uh, <laughs> wasn't what killed him. It was pebbles. A couple of dodgy pebbles and a six-foot fall. Uh, <laughs> Just Lex Luthor looking at that going... What? <laughs> a horse riding accident? Dressage? I'm going to space to kill this guy. <laughs> a harvesting kryptonite. A pony trick? What? <laughs> It'd be great if, they, if they, the thing was like absolutely horrific to the story when they come in. And you know what? It may have been Bali, but that kid was only four years old. We thought it was a boy. <laughs> Anyway, uh, I'll leave you to at it. He's like, all right, thank you for that, Alfred. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for that, Alfred. <laughs> Good night, sir. Good, yeah, yeah. Good night, sir. I'll have... <laughs> he goes, it'd be great if he said something like, I'll have... Uh, I presume oh. you two will be frequent. I'll have the monkey suit out oh, on the bed. He's like, and she's like, what's the monkey suit? <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> I've had the bat cock washed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've had the Bangkok sterilized. Bruce, <laughs> go down. Alfred, get out of here, please. <laughs> get down the back. Is this all of the Bangkok's hanging off dry? <laughs> what are these? <laughs> oh. That's my sheath. <laughs> oh, sheath. God of Almighty. Just in the middle of shacking her. <laughs> hanging her off the bed <laughs> don't drop me I'm not gonna drop you <laughs> I want you to tell all your friends about me <laughs> who are you I'm Batcock <laughs> oh man <laughs> oh god you know the, the doctor's joker the, the joker's doctor is my favourite yeah dude, where he was just the like surgeon he's like I've tried my best here yeah. your, your nerves are severed and then he just it like pans to like a little thing full of like bloodied wooden cutlery. Oh, that I know. I remember that as a kid and going, Jesus, that's really? so grim. Jeez, I, just, I just had to do my best. Oh. And then he just bursts out laughing, which was good. I liked the laughing. 
I thought he was going to kill him. I actually enjoyed the fact he didn't kill him. I would have been annoyed if he just could kill the surgeon. Yeah. He just left laughing his head off. Yeah. Oh, 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 God. The guy that he kills, the guy he shoots in the, the big apartment, what do you call him? Jack Palance. Jack Palance, when he does... <laughs> When he comes in and the guy goes, is that you, sugar pups? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, what a tragic last I know, few I words. Know. Yeah. Is that, that you, honey? Is that you, sugar bumps? That, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it ain't me, And he's just like, bump. oh, my God. No, it's it's okay. I'm going to die of embarrassment now anyway. So, <laughs> sugar pups. Is that See, you, bad I, cock? I, I oh. like... How long, how long is he fucking hammering? Like, you were, like you were saying, like, what? See how you said, like, he's got some class lines. The Joker. Well, you got one of the worst lines, too. What? The worst lines was like, are you insane? Well, I thought I was a Pisces. Oh, yeah, I yeah. Like, Aye, that, is, that is shite. Yeah. But some of it, I mean, the, the, this is, like, see, when I was a kid, this was a quotable, quotable film. Okay, right, Like, right. the obviously, the do you ever dance with the devil by the pale moonlight? Yeah, okay. That's yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, the, yeah. When he shoots Bruce Wayne, he goes, never rub another man's rhubarb. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, funny. Yeah, 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 that's great. Um, yeah, yeah. I love... The, I love the bit where he, he it, does the impression of a uh, when he becomes the mob boss and he does the impression of Jack Palance. Oh yeah, going, yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember, Bob, <gasps> you are my number one. But yeah, 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 yeah. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like, like that. Yeah, I like that. Very loyal henchman for no reason. Oh right? yeah, yeah. He's a guy, right? I learned this when I was reading about this film. He, he isn't even an actor. He's just he's just Nicholson's pal. That That's was another. Crazy. That was another. That was another condition of him doing it. He, went, he was like, "I want my part to be the main henchman." <laughs> Benny Nicholson's in. <laughs> Benny Nicholson. What, um, are you sure he's going to be able to do this? He's a fucking. He's a postman. Uh, he's a good guy, but uh, he's a good guy. But he's, he's got a bit of money right, trouble. Right. You always know where you are with this guy. Right? Yeah. <laughs> he is my number one guy, so this will work. The uh, the handshake. That that's great. That's a great scene. Surely it would like fry his own hand too. But let's not nah, because he's got he's got a glove and it's 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 uh, transferring the electricity straight into the guy. Oh, he doesn't have makeup in that scene. He no, just looks no, like... he has makeup on. This is what I had to explain to Isla last night because we were watching. Oh, it that's last right, because his well. face is burnt. So his face is pure white that's because red. of the chemicals and his yeah, hair's yeah. green. So he has to put that's funny uh, yes. peach makeup on to look human. He looked like a Kardashian. He does. Yeah, he does. He does. <laughs> But see, because that scene, that scene is very, very like the same scene where, I mean, it's a lot cooler in The Dark Knight when, I know you can't, I mean, we have, you have to compare them all the time because The Dark Knight is just a phenomenal film. Yeah, it's just a different type of um, thing, yeah. But that scene where the Joker goes to meet all the crime bosses and that, and he does the pen trick, mm. it's very similar. Yes, it's, it's, it is. It's set exactly the same. Oh, He's yeah. sitting at the top of the table. They're all dubious and they're all going, who the fuck's this freak? Yeah, yeah. And then the guy goes again, and then he, and then he goes, I love that when he's electrical. He goes, ooh, we've got a live one here. <laughs> <laughs> and the guy's head shrinks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His head burns so much, it fucking shrinks. They, he looks like he has sweets up his, like Marilyn Brando in the good. See, well, I think I didn't notice as well, right? I always thought that it was uh, getting dropped into the vat of chemicals that gave him the smile. And yeah. it's not. When he tries to shoot Batman, Batman puts his... His suit up, and yeah, it, 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 oh, it ricochets sorry. off the wall and hits a uh, Nicholson in the face, and you can see him it, it, like it basically slashes him right there. Yeah, so that's yeah, yeah. what creates the, the, the smile. The, you got a wee Chelsea smile. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. Fucking whatever credit card wasn't just it? A, just a wee thing I noticed. Oh no, you have a, oh, no Chelsea. It was Glasgow, isn't it? Uh, well, a, I've heard it called both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I mean, that's one of them. It's most, probably every, probably one in every country. It's one of the most brutal. Tortures I've ever heard in my life. Yeah, yeah. That mine's I ain't, I ain't the bamboo ones is my favorite. What's that one? Do you ever see that? They used to do it in uh, Vietnam and stuff. So they would uh they lay you flat on like they cut like a load of bamboo off. So uh -huh. like cut it flat and lie on it and keep you on it like pressured. But bamboo grows really quick, so it just slowly grows through you because it will pierce your skin. It doesn't think so. You lie on bamboo, and then within like a week, it just starts slowly going. Fucking just hell. grows through you. So like bamboo grow clean through you. Oh it, my it doesn't stop. God it Almighty! That's a good. That's, that's a, horrendous. That's a good old te torture technique. Fuck! If you don't know the cre the credit card one is where gangsters just do. I'd heard it in Glasgow. Yeah. Glasgow smile and a Chelsea smile. Yeah, and they get you up against the wall. 
they'd put a credit card or a bank card or a blockbuster card uh, in, <laughs> blockbuster. in between your, your mouth so you'd be like that and then they'd slash you there and mm. there and then they'd take it out and you would scream and a smile would just appear. Yeah, right yeah. There. Nice. Yeah, it's horrible. Yeah, yeah. Um, have you ever heard of, th- th- another really bad one I heard of, the Nazis used to do this. Um, they used to uh, get boiling hot tar <laughs> right and you know how like if, if someone's paving a road there'll be a, like a, a mound of tar just yeah, sitting yeah. there that they'll they'll spade off shovel off onto the ground so they would have that and they'd just get prisoners of war or prisoners in concentration camps and chuck them and land them back first onto the tar so tar right? and feathered is that what no 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 tar and feathered was when the tar and feathered was more of a kind of Humiliation, a thing. laugh, aye. aye, where they would <laughs> cover somebody with tar, cover them with feathers, and then march them through the yeah, streets. Yeah. This was they'd throw them on the tar, they'd land on the tar on their back, and the natural instinct is to run away, but the skin would stick to the tar, so they, you'd basically just run away and leave the entire skin of the back of your body on the tar. Oh, oh man. <sighs> good, Disgusting. well, yeah. Then, and there's ones that are like, I oh, just miss, listen to Metallica for a week. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My one is I subject them to the back cock. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ten yeah. hours of back cock. <laughs> are you sure that's going to fit? I don't care. No, 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 bad cock. <laughs> that's so fucked. What do you think happened to Riddler? Are you yeah, sure yeah. you like his body with his <laughs> arse blown clean out? <laughs> um, before, before we talk about Prince. Um, yeah, yeah. Yes, the Batmobile is very, very cool. Good Batmobile. Very, festival. very cool. Thought it was the best. Cool one. as fuck when he he says shields and it just becomes like a, an yeah, armadillo yeah, yeah. and an armor tank. Cool yeah. as fuck when he sends us to the factory, sends it in, in the shields and then just drops a wee bomb. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that was great. That's yeah, awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah that awesome. was fucking fun. Um, I don't quite know why you had to shoot the Batarang wire to go around the corner. <sighs> No, I, and my God, did it work? Because it yeah. took out the entire town. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, <laughs> it I, wasn't even a hard, it wasn't even a sharp yeah. turn. A cabbage truck crashes <laughs> into them. Like, you're like, just living in cabbage at that time He's, of night. Like, and why just, so much cabbage? <laughs> he turned around and was like, I can't believe that works. <laughs> yeah. Also, the Joker's cars were all painted. He made, he made them paint. That's this, cool. My, I did too. This Joker, though, this Joker loved arts and crafts. Oh, The God. man was doing, you're right, so he, he made them paint all the cars. Yep. He had, uh, he was cutting out things out of the whole room. Was Makes covered. a collage. Makes a collage. He also made an advertisement. Here we camera. Oh, yeah. That. This boy loves it. Love that joker. Fuck's <laughs> <laughs> sake. Um, but that's cool. The fact that the cars are all. I like, like that, yeah, yeah. Those saloon cars. I mean, it's Where they're purple with green, ho- with green roofs. That's yeah, cool. Yeah. Like. But it'd be so easily if you caught if you're the police. Yeah, of course. Seen... Uh, but the police are so useless uh, in this. Yeah, room. well, you know what? In fairness. That is part of the whole thing. There must there, Gotham was meant to be so much crime that mm. always that the reason why they need a fucking Batman is like, God, we need someone to put a tip us over the top here. But then most of them are on the take. Yeah, most as well. of the Gotham yeah, yeah, cops yeah. are on the take. Yeah, so yeah. It's, um, plus um, Dent, Harvey Dent in this. You know who that is? No, Lando Calrissian. Oh, like the oh, I don't from know. Empire and Jedi. Oh God, Jesus Christ! I thought you meant Billy like D. The, Will- Billy D. Williams. I thought you meant like, you sound like a Nazi. <laughs> what? Like Hitler's right hand man, Lando. What Lando. the fuck are you talking about? Lando, uh, what is it, Lando Calbrazi? He wasn't the Hitler's right hand. What the fuck are you talking Sounds about? Sounds like I thought when you went Lando thing, I'd go, oh, you're the no. Nazi. Okay, he's in Star Wars, as you're saying. Do you know, you must know who Lando Calrissian is in Star Wars. God. He's the guy that originally owned the Millennium Falcon. Yes, 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 I do know. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Nazi. Fuck's sake. Um, so anyway, Aye. Star was, Star of David Wars. <laughs> he, <laughs> he was supposed to be Two Face all the way through, but then they gave it to Tommy Lee Jones. Oh, there we go. And the guy was pissed. Harvey Dent. You know, who's Bob Kane? That was a much better name for a politician. Bob Kane is. Uh, he's one of the original creators of Batman. Okay. He was right. one of the first guys that drew Batman. Okay, that's Bob a good name. Kane. Good um, name. Yeah, uh, the he is very arty. That's that's what I like. There's wee subtle bits. Dropped in all the way through because when he's looking up, a uh, Jack Napier, who is the guy who becomes a Joker, and he said he, he studied at Gotham, Gotham College or something. Yeah, yeah. Specializing in arts and chemistry. Yeah. And you yeah, go, ah, yeah. of course. Ah, it makes sense now. Yeah. His plan's good. 
Well, I'd love to get some of that gas stuff for the, the yeah. You know, the, the new newswoman that burst out laughing. I fuck it, love that's good. That, yeah, because I was like, oh my god, someone give her poppers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or that fucking smelling stuff. <laughs> She just started giggling. I thought that was pretty funny. But I like I like the fact that it's not he's not just poisoning he's not just poisoning the population. He's doing it in a way where they don't know they're being poisoned because he's put he's put it in such a way that it, it'll only happen if you mix certain things. Yeah, okay. So it's not yeah. like it's not like oh he's put it in all the hairspray. Let's just not use hairspray. Yeah, yeah. He's all put the it bald in, guys are fine. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> But he's put it in toothpaste. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. then it'll react if you have toothpaste, deodorant, and mouthwash. Yeah, yeah. So it's like there's certain combinations that fucking. I like that. Is is it, when you is it's when he poisoned everyone, uh, you know, and then started dancing the prince. Yeah, that was the worst scene in the whole film. Most people think that it is the worst thing I've possibly. This is as bad as Spider Man Three. When I he went, when he went all emo and started dancing. I, I have a was, soft spot for that. Fucking bit. thought it was stupid as fuck. One of the guys as well that had died was poisoned, fell down the stairs, right? Uh-huh. But his legs are still up in the air, like yeah. back up and as a like, you know, if you're if you're out cold, your legs aren't I, sticking in the air equally. I get why people hate that scene. Yeah. But so it was shite. what I like about it, I love the song for a start. Uh, Party man. Ah, uh, yeah. Party man. It's a good song. It's also in I feel like I said it's only in this. Nope. Oh, I know what it's in. Oh. God, I have a fucking memory on me. It's in the last dance, Michael Jordan. Oh, there's is it? A, there's a, a party man compilation. Of oh, there you sl- go then. I'm doing fucking slam ah. dunks and it's great. Sorry, that's where it was. It wasn't. It's a problem. great. It's a it's a good song. It's not the best. The best Prince song in this is when they do the the parade. Yes. Yes. Um. But that I like. I like that because Nicholson just again doesn't doesn't give a fuck. And just yeah. Yeah. All yeah. That. I also love the the opening line to that. Where they, they burst into the so they, they've gassed everyone and then yeah. they, he kicks open the door of the museum and he just goes, "Gentlemen, <laughs> let's broaden our minds." <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Love I know that. he does. I do like the fact that he because he was <laughs> and you know you just said he went to art college. He did stop him from destroying one painting. He was yeah. like, "No, that's a good one." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. that's pretty good actually. And I, then think about it. I like that, and I like the way I like the fact that I like the fact that he tries to. Cause that no, but see it, it, that that's what that's that's what's wrong with that scene, right? Because it's so stupid him dancing around, even though I quite like it. It is so stupid, but then it gets really sinister mm. because then he turns up and Bassinger's sitting there, and then she's giving her this is the first time they meet, and then he brings in Jerry Hall, who's Mick Jagger's wife, who yeah. was his, who was the the girl he was pumping the crimes boss. Oh, I we a big fucking aye, and she's got a mask on, and then he's. He's basically throwing acid in her face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you go, what the fuck's going on here? And then he tries to do it to Bassinger because he's like, just have a smell of my, my flower. Oh, I And then it, acid it, it, comes it, it, out of it. Yeah. And then Batman bursts in through the fucking glass roof. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Then gets the... F- Keep going. <laughs> oh, it's no then at this time. Uh, uh, uh. There we go. And then... a. Uh, then then Batman bursts from the glass roof. Yeah. And then puts the, the, the fucking batarang thing out and then glides out the door. Yeah, yeah. And then Joker goes, Where does he get those wonderful toys? And I'm like, There's so many lines in this where you go, Oh god, this oh, is awesome, toys. man. I d I I I didn't like his character whatsoever, but he did have good lines. I did like the my favorite character is <laughs> I'd love to have a guy that you hire just to bring a ghetto blaster around with you. Oh, yeah, he's amazing, yeah. <laughs> what? He looks like a Victorian strongman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got a big handlebar moustache. It just says here on your CV, mister, that <laughs> you spent nine years being the Joker's personal ghetto blaster character. Yes. Yes, I did. I didn't touch anyone. <laughs> I just did the music. <laughs> <laughs> but that's that's what I would do if I was a if I was, if I was a super villain. I'd have a guy following me around, providing me with a personal soundtrack. That's like so have you funny. never have you never been walking along the street, right? Yeah. And you've had uh, your earphones in, and you've been playing music, and at some point a tune comes on, and you either it either kicks in just as you turn a corner, yeah, yeah. or just as you step off a train, and then your walk matches it, and you go. This is like I'm in a film. 
Like that, it's like I'm in a film and I've got my own theme tune here. Like you're doing and that. you're fucking like you're doing 500 days yeah. of summer. You're rocking around. along to fucking Bang Bang by Jesse J. <laughs> <laughs> that used to be a good song. I hate that fucker though. Still is a good song. That Jesse J was a disaster. I'm mm. glad that was a flash in the pan. Fuck that. Um, a, shit, ga- a gash in the pan. <laughs> if rumors are to be believed, <laughs> it's, I don't even think it is. Rumor thing is pretty obvious. Oh well. Um, do you see, like, uh, you know, I already said when he falls into the bins and he just gets up and gets shot, but she she tries to take a fucking picture <laughs> with the flash and, like, yeah, and then he gets shot. I'm yeah, like, you deserve to, again, yeah. deserve to die for that. He rips the shite out of her as well. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. Because when they try to go up and he goes, How much do you weigh? Yeah, <laughs> 108 yeah, yeah, pounds. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then he goes back and goes, You weigh a lot more than 108 pounds, <laughs> you fat bitch. That's <laughs> right. That's basically going, You fat lying bitch. <laughs> And then, and then is she, when she finds out he's Batman, is she, is she just going to go like, wait a minute, did you call, it was you? Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Yeah. <laughs> wait a minute, Alice, it was you. Call me fuck. <laughs> I love the way, as well, not only did the Joker have his own ghetto blaster, he had his own fucking samurai. Some dude, yes. Some dude. But that guy was swinging the sword so hard, he must have been absolutely yeah. wrecked by the time yeah. he made, when, by the time he got one yard from Batman, he just kicked him. Yeah. Boot him in the head. <laughs> yeah, he is a sam. He's also got an incredibly hard dude. That only appears in the last battle. Oh, he kicks the shit out of Batman. Oh, that's right. I yeah. tank you. that massive, tank. huge guy in the bell tower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like being without the yeah, 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 without yeah. The trauma. What is um? What is your opinion on Prince as an artist? Uh I couldn't be fucked with him. Best Super Bowl show ever, obviously. I wouldn't say that easily. Well, I didn't mind you. It probably is. I don't playing Purple it. Rain in the rain. Come on. Yeah, well, uh, I would say Katy Perry myself, but <laughs> in that good halftime show. You know, I, I can't even think so. It probably is. Uh, it definitely is a thing. But I, cu- I couldn't be fucked with him. Like, I like that. I like Party Man yeah. from that thing because I remember downloading it or put, downloading, putting it on the Spotify list. So I knew it from that. Uh, don't listen to him. He seems like a twat. Knew he could suck his own cock. Could he? That doesn't surprise me. You know what? He treated Sinead O'Connor like shit. I swear I don't like him. Did he? Did yeah, he know yeah. Why? No, no, he fucking hated her because of she did like nothing. The Catholic thing. Nothing compares to you. Oh, ah, well, yeah, it's his, his song. Yeah, yeah, yeah it yeah, was yeah. his song. She wrote it. Then he was, he started getting pissed off because it did way better than his version. And then he, he she just actively talks about how much of a prick he All was right. to her. So Dolly Parton did it as well. Did she? There's a version of Dolly Parton doing nothing compares to you. It's not as good. Like Sinead's is the is the goat. Is the but, goat? Um, yeah. A uh, oh. Oh, I've written down a note when Kim Bessinger wakes up and feels her tit. Do you remember that? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, what the fuck are they saying? And then she goes, oh, I took the film. And I was like, oh, that makes sense. Because I was like, what the fuck are they about to say? Do you know, that was a bit, right? So, first of all, we had the bit earlier on where... See, this is stuff that I would never have noticed when I was a kid, right? Yeah, yeah. So, the bit where Bruce Wayne shags Vicky Vale and she's drunk and he's not. Yeah, yeah. Then there's a bit where Batman... It's kind of coming towards her, and uh, he kind of says to her, you've got something else that I want. And she says, what? And then he just puts his cape up, right? And uh, Isla said to her, when we were watching it last night, she went, what did he want? And I was like, I don't actually know what he fucking wanted. I was like, shit. And then she wakes up. And then I thought, has she woken up in Bruce Wayne's house? That's what I thought. And has he just pumped her his back, back cocked her? Right? <laughs> been, and then she goes, oh, he took the film. And I was like, oh, I've got... And I was like, that's... What, remember she took his photo and that he wanted the film because he doesn't want anyone to see pictures of Batman. I was like, Jesus. Oh, God. <laughs> that's That was the scene. Yeah, I did wake up. She was films her tits too. I was like, this is shocking. Um, oh, my God, I've been milked. <laughs> there's a bit. There's a bit at the end. Because the, the, whole, the whole last scene... Uh, when they fight in the cathedral. And yeah. Then, um, so Batman's largely getting the shit kicked out of him by various henchmen. Yeah, most and of them. I mean, yeah, <laughs> the Joker is dancing with Vicky Vale. Yeah, yeah. And then she, so she's basically getting ragdolled and dragged about, right? Is that when she just starts trying to fucking... That, you know, you, if you see what she does, right? Tries to like, pretend she's about to suck him off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I didn't yeah. notice this either when I was a kid. <laughs> I was like, yeah, yeah. So, like, she... The Joker's dancing with her. She sees that Batman's now on the scene. So she goes, right, I'll create a diversion. So she starts kissing Joker and going, oh, I love purple. Oh, I love your, I love your purple wand. <laughs> purple rain's playing in yeah, the background. Yeah, I love your purple rain all over me. I've had the back cock. 
Now time for the funny cock. It's Joker cock. Don't call it funny cock, please. Time for the funny cock. Come on, time for the tickle stick. You take it out and it's just another... It's another one of them spinny things that sprays acid on her face. <laughs> that would be a terrible way to spray acid on her. From his- <laughs> But yeah, so she starts kind of kissing his arm and then moving up and then kissing the, the side of his neck. And then she just drops to her knees. And and then he's clearly got the Nicholson face of, I'm Good. getting sucked off here. <laughs> Batman's like, gee, jumping in the mud. Jesus. <laughs> That's not a diversion. Imagine Batman <laughs> held back for a bit. <laughs> yeah. Let's see how this plays out. <laughs> <laughs> I've always there's, loads, there's already loads of Joker porn online she's kind of giving a mask going, oh, oh, I'm, I'm, oh, I'm, oh, I'm. you can step in any time here Batman <laughs> that's how they bond to um, when you get in on this uh, Joker's death's awful uh, yeah it's it's not it's a cool death by the fact that he he gets hooked up with the gargoyle does it, the, doesn't make sense the death physically didn't physics wise it didn't make no sense. I don't know how he shoots both he managed to grapple both of them at the same time no no him. not that he's grappled to the the statue and then to the helicopter mm-hmm. right the thing falls mm-hmm. so he's dragged downwards mm-hmm. but that means he would still be attached to the helicopter so unless the helicopter also comes down with him unless they just try and fucking do don't show you snapping it well I know what you mean with the transfer of power yeah but. I think they're trying to say the thing's heavier than the helicopter. Yeah, but the helicopter was nowhere to be seen. You'd see a helicopter being dragged out of the fucking sky. And that wouldn't make any sense. There's no way a gargoyle of a cathedral is heavier than an actual helicopter. Yeah, And, and also, also, not just heavier. Heavy enough that it can, that can, that it can combat the power of the, the blades. Yes, exactly. So, yeah, yeah, no, it is ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. I, but I, I, I didn't even mean that. I meant just, I, I like, the actual fall is terrible nah. because the, the the effects are just yeah, abysmal yeah. on it. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah. He, he suddenly becomes a tiny wee cartoon joker that just falls. Yeah, it's awful. Like, I I, I get that at least. I liked, I liked he chucked the guy down the shaft as well. Like, I, that, yeah, that, that was that, cool. That yeah. was like great cool. I like people. That's chuck. cool when he when he acids the big bell and it drops yeah, down and nearly kills yeah, everybody. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. cool. Yes. Yeah, that, that was good. And I like the fact when they, when they find the joker on the ground... And he's got the thing laughing. Oh, that's great. That's yeah, yeah, very, very that was cool. Good. I did find it funny though, by the way, when she just when she goes, Why the fuck would she take the Joker's hand when she tried she fucked them off the building, they're all hanging. I know. And then she goes, puts her hands up, and then he's just like yeah. basically, Whoa. Let me give you a hand. And it's a uh, fake hand. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he's yeah. Pissing himself laughing. I enjoyed the part where he pretended that the water was melting him. Yes, see that, see that's it, that's in that, that was funny. museum scene as well. And then he, and then he turns around and goes, Boo. That's yeah, great. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's great yeah. stuff. Great, yeah, great, yeah. great. I, I have the only other things I have written here is uh, my favorite quote was, and I think this was the Joker in fairness, which was, "Anyone calls you beast, I'll rip their lungs out." Yeah, yeah, that was good. That was quite. That was, very that was a good, a good threat. Um, and then I have <laughs> at the very, I said they wrapped it up very ridiculously when they just went in the press conference. We go, anyway, we wrapped up all of the Joker's men. The ho- the, the, they were all I, running around. We got I them like- all. I like the fact that the cops take any credit for any of this that, at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got them. Yeah. We got all of them. He's like, you didn't turn up at any point, really. Yeah, yeah. So yeah pretty much. He came up. Like, Commissioner Gordon, all he was in this was, like, a dude that just stumbled in far too late. Yeah. <laughs> he's a shit character in this, Gordon. Like, he doesn't well, make any... Yeah, which is fine. Aye, no, but... he's proper gash in this. He just goes, what's going on here? He's Very like, cool when they do the bat signal at the end, like you said. I did. I like the bat signal. I like the bat signal. I like the suit. It, I like Gotham. It looked like what I would have had the cartoon. Like, I and thought that was way better. The scene where he's in the bat wing and it goes up to the moon and creates a silhouette. Yes. That's yes. class. Yes, like, so I like that. And the car was class. better and Aye. all that. I definitely thought that Aye. was better than the, even the Dark Knight and all that. Aye. Um, uh, I, I did think... We, I, 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 look at this. I must have been fucked when I wrote this because my last thing says, I, if, I wish you could join it with another film and have Paul... <laughs> Paul Blartman. <laughs> Paul Blartman Mall Cop. <laughs> Paul Blartman Mall Knight. <laughs> Paul Blartman Gotham Cop. <laughs> Paul Blartman. I was like, is that what I had? Paul Blartman. I just read Paul Blartman at the end of the film. <laughs> You're about to get the Blart cock. <laughs> the Paul Blart cock. Actually, most films would be better if you put Paul Blart in it. <laughs> the Great Escape. Paul Blart. <laughs> 
Um, uh, yeah, yeah. So, but no, I loved watching it again. And I, I, I cannot express how fucking class it was as a as a, yeah, a nine-year-old I, I, I watching would, this I film. I would say it so, because it is... Like, blew my mind. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I watched it from things, and I was sitting there going like, right, well, this is another one. Like a lot of Tom Burton's, I was like, wasn't here for it yeah. at and the time. Do you know what's better? We'll eventually do one day. Batman Returns. It's a better film. Okay, right. I better better performances as well. Is that the one with the penguin in it? The one with the penguin and Catwoman. Uh, okay. Who's Catwoman? Michelle Pfeiffer. Okay, yeah, all right. Yeah, it's class. And then we'll just stop doing them after that. Until well, we fucking get to Halle Berry was a good Catwoman. No, she wasn't. It was just a terrible film. She wasn't a good Catwoman. She was a good cat woman. No, she wasn't. She was a good cat woman. It's, it's, it's one of the terrible, worst films you like. Terrible listen. cat woman. It's good cat woman. She looked good as cat woman. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, right, okay. So the film's fucking dreadful. Aye. It's one of the worst no, films No, but she's ever not seen. a good character and not a good cat, cat woman character. I hated it. Anne Halfway. So did I. Actually. I fucking hate Anne Halfway. I found out she was an Arsenal fan the last day and annoyed the what? shit. Why the fuck is Anne Hathaway an Arsenal fan? I don't fan. even know, but it annoyed me. Is she English? No. I hate when, I hate when actors. Was it like Tom Hanks is a Villa fan? Aye. I fucking hate when American yeah. actors pick up. We have we have Spike Lee's an Arsenal fan. He's an actual Arsenal yeah, fan. Most of the games. You had Bin Laden. We That's had Bin Laden, the and absolute king. We had Bin Laden and Fidel Castro. Really? Castro was a big Arsenal fan. Fucking yeah, he's at Arsenal jerseys doing some of the. Queen of House had Joseph Coney. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Joseph Coney and the Zodiac Killer. Both yeah. <laughs> big Queens fans. <laughs> oh, I was about to say William H. Macy, but that's not what I was trying to say. That's that actor from... Remember William H. Macy? Yeah, he's in Fargo. Yeah, I was, I was trying to say John Wayne Gacy. John Wayne <laughs> Gacy. William H. Macy, John Wayne Gacy. Fucking Bin Laden, William H. Macy. That sounds like one of those things Harry Hill used to do. What? Just like... William H. Macy, John W. Gacy. <laughs> fuck's sake <laughs> oh god right um, so that that was batman yes right college choice next week all right so i have one dvd left i have to get back to the old things that's a shot so we have i thought you'd have picked some up in australia nah oh, it's a different i didn't, region, f- anyway, didn't so. even think but uh donny darko Ooh, interesting <laughs> one pound donny darko here so Very interesting. i haven't seen this in a long I've time i've not seen it in years yeah years so i'm wondering how years. this is going to translate back yeah today, but we're going for the old donny i remember darko. enjoying it yeah, i did remember enjoying it. i remember time. i remember swayze's a pedo in it yeah <laughs> I remember that yeah and jill and hall's in it and it's yeah, a big yeah. scary rabbit so yeah yeah it's not to love aye aye Hi, I've just something came to my head, but I'll I'll save it for the film. Cool. Right. Um. Yeah. Uh, keep uh, keep telling people. Um. We're absolutely delighted with how well uh, the thing's going. Keep downloading and listening, yeah. reviewing if you can be asked. Um, it's amazing you decided to choose the four ones that weren't filmed right and all over the place is the best. I mean, yeah. this one's a bit all over the place as well. I You're going to get videos here, and it's going to be cutting out and in. Yeah. I things. promise we will be back to even if Kai and Danny are still away in India, I'll bring my camera which is the same camera that we use yeah we'll, we'll be I'll back that next we're, week. we're all we back, back and settled we will again be back. We will we're all be back. back and settled next we will. week we're not fucking we're this is this is the this ta- fucking videos on a bin this is the talent right that's we're not <laughs> we're not people we're not fucking geeky fucking nah, look at the angle fucking light this bastard people we are all our talent comes <laughs> From up here and directs right through there to you. From the backhawk. Yeah, from the backhawk. Yeah. All of this directly comes from the we've, backhawk. We've talked about the backhawk for about 40 yeah. minutes. Left. All of our talent comes from here. <laughs> backhawk. <laughs> oh, um, the, 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 the symbol in the sky. Oh, somebody's getting pumped tonight. And uh, <laughs> pay plugs. <sighs> Fucking. I don't even know. Ours just uh, yeah. If, I, I, we're not. Doing, it's not not. Yeah, I'll be. It'll be out either tonight or tomorrow. So if tomorrow this goes morning. out either tonight or tomorrow morning, then it will definitely this be out by tomorrow. Friday, morning. either either tomorrow or tonight, depending on when you're watching this. Yeah. If you're in Glasgow or surrounding areas, then uh, me and Colin will be at the King's Theatre. There's still some tickets left. There's fucking huge amounts sold. We are both very very excited for it. It's going to be absolute <laughs> class. Yes. Um, and uh, I'm going to do this later on Twitter as well, but if there are still some left, to say thank you for everyone that has been listening and watching our podcast. Um, uh, f- if five of you, if five of you DM me over any, or DM the, the Absolute Cuts account or me or Cullen uh, your name and I'll give you two free tickets. Yes. To come. 
tomorrow night, just so there's as many people there as possible. What qu- I, I want to give a question so that we know that people actually fucking listen to this. All right. What do you reckon? What What is What is Batman's most promising weapon? <laughs> It can't be from this episode. <laughs> Try to think what what like what's a what, what's a what's a trope? Oh of... right, let me think then. What do we have? Right, okay. Here's for every single film, which particular character do we try and find? Aye, yeah, there yeah, is yeah, one yeah. particular character that does something that we try and find in every single film. Yeah. So if you get in touch and say that, then I'll give you two tickets. Bingo. All right. I and listen. Keep spreading the words. We don't, we're not going to kill you. We just want you to tell your friends about us. I mean, we're not going to kill you. That what? doesn't sit like we're not going to hurt. We just want you to tell our friends about us. <laughs> what are we? We're absolute cunts. <laughs> <laughs>